We're glad to be back, and here is the news for today, with me, Vanessa. India's interim minister tests positive for coronavirus. India's interior minister Amit Shah says that he tested positive for coronavirus and now he admitted at the hospital. Amit Shah a close aide to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and heads the key ministries that at the forefront of managing India's coronavirus outbreak. He adds and requests all of who had came in contact with him to isolate themselves and get tests. India has 1,600,000 more confirmed cases and 36,000 more deaths. Teachers of kindergarten change this innovative teaching process to keep children safe in Indonesia. A kindergarten in Indonesia is exploring innovative teaching process to make sure children's education is not hampered by the pandemic, such as transparent tents, online courses and home visits with portable social distancing barriers. A private kindergarten with 135 students only allows six people to go to school each day. Accompanied by their parents to classroom sessions, the children are kept in the safety of transparent boxes made from plastic sheets. All visitors are required to wear masks, face shields, gloves, and have their body temperature checked before entering the school. Nah, fungsi dari kotak itu agar kita The function of the transparent box is one of our commitments of prioritizing health protocols. When someone enters Permata Hati Integrated Islamic Kindergarten or when they bring their children to school, there are certain procedures or standard operation procedures they need to follow, including wearing a mask, face shield, gloves, and having their body temperature taken. That's what we have to do. A rotation system makes sure each student attends the class every two weeks. But if the parents are not comfortable with sending their children to school, they, the parents, can accompany the students to go to school whenever they want. Itu kita laksanakan dua minggu satu kali. We do this every two weeks for each child. After getting a schedule, the parents can come to school with or without their children. The child can also learn through online courses at home. Then we will provide the learning materials for the next week or two. Selama satu pekan ke depan atau dua pekan ke depan. Usually, the children study under the supervision of their parents at home as they attend dancing, music, Quran reading, and classes online. Enggak. I'm not bored at all because I can do Zoom call with all my friends. I can also meet my teacher. I love it. My teacher came to my house and gave me new toys. She plays puzzle with me and teaches me the memories verses of the Quran. I love it and very happy. Aku suka sekali senang. The kindergarten also sends its teachers to visit students at home to conduct one-on-one -on -one classes, a move welcomed by many parents. Kami sangat mendukung sekali sehingga anak-anak yang selama ini We strongly support this program, especially when the children are bored after the months of learning online. Now they can learn new knowledge through this new experience. Uh, pengayaan atau supaya mereka ini punya uh, Artinya pembelajaran yang baru. Uh, kami sebagai orang tua sangat mendukung. Karena As parents, we strongly support this activity so that our children can meet with their teacher in person, even though the time is limited. The teacher can also understand the student's development while they study online during the pandemic. Selama daring di era pandemi ini. Education ministry say most schools in Indonesia have not resumed physical classes. Only schools in around 90 green zones cities are allowed to reopen under strict health protocols. Indonesia has reported more than 98,000 cases and more than 4,000 deaths of the novel coronavirus, the highest in the Asia. The North Korean war veterans gather in Pyongyang Gymnasium for national conference to mark the 67th anniversary of the armistice. The North Korean State Central News Agency report North Korea's war veterans attend a national conference held in Pyongyang to mark the 67th anniversary of the armistice that sees the 1950-53 Korean War. 
in the video that provides by Korean Central News Agency, which Reuters cannot independently verify the veterans wearing military uniforms and donning face masks, they gather outside the Pyongyang Gymnasium before boarding buses that took them to their hotel. Korean Central News Agency says the veterans across the country came to Pyongyang to attend the 6th National Conference of War Veterans on the occasion of the Armistice anniversary. The armistice signed on July 27, in 1953, halted fighting between U.S.-led and U.N. forces back in South Korea and communist Chinese and North Korean troops. However, it has never been converted into a peace treaty, leaving the two Koreas in a technical state of war. Pakistan resumes poll immunization drive amid COVID-19 threat. Pakistani vaccinators resume an anti-polio drive that had been halted due to the coronavirus outbreak seeking to reach at least 800,000 children. This polio campaign was deferred due to the COVID-19. We are going to resume it from today. Regarding this, we have provided our staff with masks, sanitizers and masks for the community. Also, we have briefed them about the non-touch technique so that they can prevent the spread of the COVID-19 to themselves and others. Official says vaccinators is instruct to minimize contact, ask parents to hold children for oral polio drops. The Emergency Operation Center for Polio in Sint province said in a statement. We have been provided masks, sanitizer, and other precautionary items. We have prepared and equipped all our teams. We have to visit every house with the mindset that there could be a patient with the coronavirus living there. We have to take extra precaution and always use sanitizer while administering poly vaccine drops to a child. According to official figures, 60 polio cases has been reported in 2020 thus far in Pakistan. Cases fell to 8 in 2017 and 12 in 2018, but then spiked up to 147 in 2019, according to the World Health Organization. UNICEF warns that the disruption in vaccination drives could create pathways to, to disastrous outbreaks in 2020 and beyond. Mobs burned a village healthcare center, blocked a highway and pelted cars with stones. Medical workers were harassed and threatened. A woman vaccinator and two policemen escorting the polio team were also shot dead in separated incidents. Pakistan has thus far registered 265,000 more cases of novel coronavirus infections and 5,500 more deaths. The Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte tells poor to use gasoline as disinfectant. The Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte told the poor to use gasoline as disinfectant amid soaring number of new coronavirus infections in the country. The Mercurial leader reiterated his statement on the use of gasoline for those without access to alcohol. Following his previous comment, Duterte's spokesman says claim he was simply making a joke. In CR... What I said is true. Alcohol. If alcohol is not available, especially for the poor, just go to the gasoline station and pour drops of gasoline in your hands. That is disinfectant. Give priority to the Philippines once the COVID-19 vaccine is successfully developed, said spokesperson Wang Wenben at the regular press conference on July 28, 2020. And also my military and my police, because I need uh, a strong backbone. The backbone of my administration is the uniform personnel of government. He also spray alcohol in his mouth and grimace. Duterte keep coronavirus restrictions in the capital and other provinces to contain the spread of the coronavirus. In the Philippines, the coronavirus infected nearly more than 90,000 and killed almost more than 2,000 people. Pope Francis is very pained by decision to make Istanbul's Sagia Sophia Museum into a mosque. Pope Francis says he hurts by the Turkey decision to make Istanbul Hagia Sophia Museum a mosque, the latest religious leaders to condemn the move. Il pensiero a Istanbul. My thoughts go to Istanbul. I think of Santa Sofia and I'm very pained. E sono molto addolorato. Mi auguro a tutti una buona domenica. Please don't forget to pray for me. Have a good lunch and goodbye. Buon pranzo e arrivederci. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan says the first prayers will be held in Hagia Sophia 
after declaring the ancient monument was once again a mosque following a court ruling revoking its status as a museum. The World Council of Churches had called on Erdogan to reverse his decision. The Istanbul-based spiritual leaders of the world's Orthodox Christians call it disappointing. Erdogan says the nearly 1,500-year-old Hagia Sophia, which was once a Christian cathedral, remain open to Muslims, Christians and foreigners. Turkey had exercised its sovereign right in converting into a mosque and would interpret criticism of the move as an attack on its independence. Greece has condemned the move and UNESCO says its World Heritage Committee will review Hagia Sophia's status and that the Turkish decision raised questions about the impact of its universal value as a site of importance transcending borders and generations. A Bangladeshi doctor accuses of involvement in a scheme that entails falsifying of COVID-19 tests result for patients. According to court authorities, Sabrina Arif Chaudhry, chairman of JKG Health Care, it sends a two-day pre-trial detention by the court. In today's case, the court has granted two days of pre-trial police detention for Dr. Sabrina. This remains a granted for a neutral and a better investigation. Local media reports Chaudhry and several other suspects are detained in connection with the fake testing ring. The owner of the two hospitals where the test given, Muhammad Shahed, is arrested after a nine-day manhunt when he cats at a border river tried to flee to India. According to the health officials, Bangladesh have a total of 100,099 more confirmed cases of COVID-19 and 2,500 more deaths. Vietnam says every city and province now at the risk of virus infection. After state media reports new cases in Hanoi Ho Chi Minh City in the central city of Da Nang, Vietnam virus free for months are bracing for another wave of COVID-19 infections. Our Ministry of Health has gained much more experience in combating the virus in its first wave. This time I think it will also pass quite soon because we have the experience. The state media reports that in Hanoi, a worker at a pizza restaurant who returned from Da Nang tested positive for the coronavirus and authorities closed the business for this infection. Meanwhile, in state broadcaster Vietnam Television, Prime Minister Nguyen Xuan Puc says the current wave of infections are different from the earlier cases that Vietnam fight and every province and city were at risk. I repeat, all provinces should raise the alert level. Chairman and general secretary of each provinces should take action, as well as the whole political system. The public should be careful and alert and follow the instructions that were conveyed to them. The government suspend all flights to and from tourist hub Da Nang for 15 days when at least 30 cases of the novel coronavirus detect in or around the city. I believe in the government and the Ministry of Health. So I'm not overly worried, and I hope everyone won't be too worried too. Hanoi authorities are also expecting 15,000 to 20,000 residents to return from Da Nang. Chinese President Xi Jinping sent a message to Lebanese president over the huge explosions in Beirut. Chinese President Xi Jinping sent a message to his Lebanese counterpart Michael Ohm over the huge explosions in the Lebanese capital, Beirut. He adds he shocks to learn about the huge explosions in Beirut, which cause heavy casualties. On behalf of the Chinese government, she extended profound condolences to the victims, conveyed heartfelt sympathies to the injured and bereaved families, and wished the injured a quick recovery. According to the Lebanese health minister, Hamad Hassan, the explosion have caused at least 100 deaths and left over 4,000 injured, with many more missing. United Arab Emirates launches mission to Mars. The United Arab Emirates launched its first mission to Mars. It strives to develop its scientific and technological capabilities and reduce its reliance on oil. The Hope Pro blasts off from Japan's Tanegashima Space Center for a seven-month journey to the Red Planet, where it will orbit and send back data about the atmosphere. The probe deploys solar panels to power its systems and established radio communication with the mission on Earth. The first Arab mission to Mars is delayed twice due to bad weather. There are currently eight active missions exploring Mars, China and the United States each plan to send another. According to the Minister of Advanced Science, Sarah Amiri, the Emirates Mars mission has cost $200 million. It aims to provide a complete picture of the Martian atmosphere for the first time, studying daily and seasonal changes. 
To develop and build the Hope Probe, Emirates and Dubai's Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center work with U.S. educational institutions. The Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center in Dubai will oversee the spacecraft during its 494 million kilometers or 300 million mile journey at an average speed of 121,000 km per hour. And that's all for today. We'll see you again.